Boom, how are we doing boys and girls, ladies and gents? Today I'm going to be teaching you how to pour into two shakers with two bottles and two different amounts of one hand. Yes. Tom Dyer! Okay, so to do this move, it does help to make sure your fingers and your hands when pouring are quite strong. So you've got to practice it. It takes quite a bit of practice. That's why I suggest getting these bottles. You can get them from worldflowassociation.com forward slash store. Uh, and they are called the fly bottle. And they're not paying me to do this. I do genuinely think they're good bottles for practicing with. Now, if you can hear a noise in the background, let me show you because we're here down at the London European Bartender School and people come down to practice. So we've got Mattia Giromel practicing his routine at the moment. So that's why you can hear the Anyway, we'll get moving on to the move. Get yourself two shakers as well. Just put them next to each other like this. And then you've got your two bottles. Before we get on to this move, I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing to my channel if you have done so already. If you haven't, you can click the little subscribe button down below and you can click the little bell as well. Bing! So you can get notified every time I upload a new video. Anyway, moving swiftly on to the two bottle pour with one hand. So the two bottle pour into two separate shakers with two different amounts with one hand looks like this. Now the first thing you need to perfect is the grab. But what you need to do is grab your hand, turn it over, okay, thumbs down, you're going to grab the bottle and you're going to grab the second bottle and pinch them together in this way. Right, see I've got this finger in between, it's my index finger, and the other three fingers grabbing hold of the other bottle. When you're in this position, you're going to come over, you're going to pour, you're going to push down, drop this bottle and jump across the next glass. So there's a lot of things happening all at the same time. Ready? Push, drop, jump. Now this finger holds this bottle and this thumb comes into play and stops this bottle from dropping all the way back. Okay? So the thumb is there to hold onto this bottle. Then if I want to bring this back into a pour, I can bounce again, push down with my thumb, and use my other fingers to push the bottle up back into a pour. So, ready? Bounce, drop, grab with the thumb, bounce, push with the thumb, and grab with the fingers. You do this in a quick motion to avoid spillage. Okay, it's gonna take some time to perfect the move because as you bounce and drop backwards, what can happen is a little bit of spillage can come out of the spout and flick towards you. So you bounce and jump, bounce and jump. When you start practicing with real glass bottles, first of all, just start with about a third of liquid inside the bottle. It makes the bottles much lighter, much easier to manage and easier to handle. As well, make sure your bottles are dry. If you're gonna flare or try this move with wet bottles, it's much more difficult, they become more slippery and they could fall out of your hands. First of all is the grab. So remember, hand this way, thumb down, Grab the bottle, open up those three fingers, grab the second bottle, and now you're ready to pour. If you want to use your other hand to get it into the correct position, that's fine to begin with. Or if you want to try and hold the bottles in a different way around. See, I find it a bit easier this way. Another little tip is your index finger. At the moment, it's all the way through the gap there. Now I want to bring it back. So it's on my second knuckle, okay, so this bottle is on my, my second part of my finger. What I mean by that is the bottles are, are, are gripping here, not here. Boom. 
This move is very difficult to perfect and does take time to get that swing down perfect. The more you practice this move, the better you'll become, the easier it'll be to swing that bottle down and jump to that other glass or that other shaker or whatever you're pouring into. Practice it, practice it over and over and over. Try it with full bottles, try it with more empty bottles, try it with different shape bottles as well. If you're struggling, if you need some more tips, whack them in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this video and let me know if there's anything else that you'd like me to show you. Good luck practicing this move. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, see you then.